I'm back with my friend Jane, and we are tackling A, your not inability to cook, but the infrequency. <laughs> Thanks for tempering that. Yeah, the, in, the infrequency yes. with which you cook. Yeah. So we're kind of trying sure. to give you some ideas to cook for her three-year-old son. And we're also trying to address what do children eat and can we find healthy new things uh, that, are that aren't too box. difficult, that aren't in a box that you can right. make for your kids. We are going to be frying in canola oil, and that's a good oil. There are healthy, healthy fats in that, omega-3s. Again, like I always say, you're not wanting to eat fried food all the time, but not all fried food is really bad for you. And this stuff is pretty good, and if your child will eat it, I think it's a good source of nutrition. So we have some canola, organic canola oil on the stove, and we're trying to have that be at 350, 375 for when we do our frying. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do portobello fries. Mm. And all of these fries, all of this whole fry experience are gonna do the same thing. They're gonna dip in the flour. Okay. They're gonna dip in our egg wash. Okay. And then they're gonna dip in either breadcrumbs or the panko crumbs. Okay. I'm gonna have you crack these three eggs. Okay. That seems okay, good no also. On that. And ooh. Okay. We are going to scramble these up. Yep. So just uh, scramble that around. Okay, I need to teach you how to scramble. <laughs> Come over here, girl. Right. I'm teaching you how to scramble. I noticed on some other stuff, you're a little dainty. I think you uh -huh. can be more okay. aggressive just, uh, in the all kitchen. Right, okay. All like, right. Like you cannot be it. afraid. All right, like so me. really grab your fork and you're really like beating them. That is a beautiful even yellow. All right, so we're gonna put our eggs here so that we have kind of an assembly line because we're gonna go egg, flour, yeah. egg, one of these crumbs. Okay. And then we're gonna put it on that plate and we're gonna make a whole plate before we go fry anything. Okay. And the order we're doing this in is we're doing portobello mushrooms, and then we're doing fish on their own little plastic thing. Mm -hmm. And then we're lastly gonna do chicken on their own plastic thing okay. because chicken is the, once we get chicken in all of this, yeah. we don't really want it on the rest of the our last. food. Yeah. Yes, the chicken's the last. I would like you mm -hmm. to try to cut the portobello mushroom. So you're gonna, you know, you. I don't know if you know this kind of knuckle thing here, but you can put your knuckles up against the knife and that yeah. sort of, so we wanna do about Probably like half an inch. Like you can, we want them to be meaty. Like a steak, yeah, meaty. Um, so we're gonna slice. So come over here and give those a slice. Yeah? That seems good. I'll switch. Seems good. That's good. <laughs> that's they can be tricky. Okay. In the end, kind of perfect. Over. Yep, that's it. That's yeah. good. Um, yeah, one. maybe one more. Sure. Good. Great. Right. Nicely done. Thank you. Okay, so. We're gonna take the mushroom, mm -hmm. we're gonna dip it in the egg. We sort of like uh, kind of, br you know, brush, brush it off. off. You don't want it to be soaking. Yeah. Then we kind of dip it in the flour. All right. And then we're gonna dip it back in the egg, just a little bit and sort of, you know, go like that. And then we're gonna, let's do one that we'll do. Breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs. And then we're gonna put that on the plate. All right. Egg. And then you do the panko crumbs. Okay, egg. Flour. flour. Egg. Perfect. Okay. And you can just kind of drag it on the edge. Yeah. Good. And then panko crumbs. So now we're going to move to the fish. This is fresh Pacific cod. And I think my thing about wanting to show you that you can make your own fish sticks, yeah. your own chicken nuggets, is because this stuff does come in the frozen food section. and. Usually those products come with a lot more than just what we're using. These are yeah. our ingredients. Fresh fish, egg flour, breadcrumbs. They're like a Russian novel on the back. Oh, they right. Like oh yeah, no, you're totally right. I think it's empowering to know that you can make it yourself. So we just have fresh Pacific cod here. Okay, so this time I am gonna do, just for fun, I'm gonna do the flour first, and then I'm gonna dip it and in the egg and then I'm gonna dip it in the uh, breadcrumbs. And then put it on the platter. And you switch me over there, and I'll cut you a couple more pieces of fish. Okay, 
Okay, so we're doing flour first? Flour first. Flour first. Egg. You're going to do breadcrumbs and I'm going to do panko? Is yeah, that right? I will do breadcrumbs. Okay. Okay, so now I have two chicken breasts here. And this is kind of a fun idea I came up with. I was really trying to figure out how can I make the chicken nugget idea? How can I actually have a chicken breast be a nugget? So I got, you know, you know I bake a lot. Right. So I got one of my baking um, cutters, like for cookies, and I was trying it on this last night and it really worked. So I think this is fun. I think we should fun. try this and see. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna smash this a little bit right. so you can see how it's not particularly flat and it's not even. I don't have those hammer things. I think I'm gonna use a can opener to sort of, and you can see that's kind of denting it. Maybe I'll use that side of it. This is obviously not, um, don't do this at home. No, actually do this at home. Um, that's really all I wanted to get out of it. Do you see how it's like yeah. a little bit flatter yeah. and a little more even? Now we can take this off. Like at this point, we're gonna touch the chicken yeah. until the chicken's done and then we'll go wash our hands and okay. we're not gonna touch anything else. I'm gonna try to be economical about not wasting too much chicken, but I'm gonna find a spot and then you literally can just press press all the way down until you get oh, yeah. that like perfect. Yeah. So I can do that while you start the okay. flour, okay. egg. Yeah. Okay, so we got our portobellos all dipped and ready. We have we our did. chicken in the middle and our fish on the outside. So let's put two of each in. I think they'll all cook in two minutes, but we're gonna check that chicken when we take it out. Okay. Okay, so we're just gonna drop these in. Okay. All right. Okay, so you go ahead and salt those. And then I'm gonna take this, and I'm just gonna put it right in here, and we're gonna wait and see. Yeah? Yeah. Once That's it. There That's you go. it. Hit it. So those are done. Good. Okay, you go first. It's okay. on. Okay, guys. So that's the chicken. That's the chicken okay. with the panko, this I is think. The panko. Is that the panko? Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's good. It's good? I mean, What's not to like about that? Nothing. Right? No. Yeah. Oh, so good. Wow, okay. Wanna the chicken's try? actually really juicy. It, it, right? oh, yeah, it is. Okay. It is. I mean, can you hitting believe it? It's only two minutes. Could, yeah, from hitting it. It's because I beat it. Okay, let's try the fish. Okay. And this is the fish with the panko. Mm. Right? It's really good. Oh, flaky. Yeah. Like, that's crazy. Wow. Do you think there's a chance Jack will like it? There's a chance. Okay. You never know. We're gonna, we're gonna see. It's um, all in full. All right. Let's wow, try the mm -hmm. portobello with the breadcrumbs. The fish is really good. Okay. There you go. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Portobello cheers. Good? Mm -hmm. Yummy. Fish sticks, uh, chicken nuggets, and portobello fries not out of a box. All right, so we have just really enjoyed our portobello fries and our fish sticks and our chicken nuggets, but yeah. stick around, click over here, right there, and you can find out if her son Jack likes them too. He's the most important critic. This is true. 20 bucks says yes. Fingers crossed.